So how can we find the universal set and the complement of a given set? So let's start with the universal set. What is the universal set? So the universal set is the union of all possible sets. So let's say we have set A, 1, 2, set B, 3, 4, and set C, 5, 6. So the universal set is going to be the union of all possible sets. So A union B union C, which in this case turns out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So how can we find the complement of a given set? Let's say set A. So the complement of a set, so let's say set A, is the set containing all the elements which are found in the universal set, but not in set A. Therefore, in this case, what are the elements that we find in A? So in A, we find 1 and 2. So in order to find the complement of A, we take the universal set, we remove 1 and 2, which are found in A, and we write the rest. So 3, 4, 5, and 6. So how can we find the complement of B? So in order to find the complement of B, we have to remove from the universal set 3 and 4, which are found in B. So we remove 3 and 4, and we are left with 1, 2, 5, and 6. And for the complement of C, we remove 5 and 6, which are found in C, and we are left with 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's the answer. Let's try with another example. Let's say we have A, which is 13, 14, and 15. B, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 17. And C, 16, 17. So the universal set in this case is going to be A union B union C, which turns out to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So now, how can we find the complement of A? So we remove from the universal set 13, 14, and 15. So we are left with 11, 12, 16, and 17. Eleven, twelve, sixteen, and seventeen. So what is the complement of B? We remove eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and seventeen. So we are left with fifteen and sixteen. And the complement of C, we remove 16 and 17 from the universal sets. 
and we are left with 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And that's it.